First, it is high school football playoffs galore with four teams from right here in the Old Pueblo suiting up for a chance to advance to the final four. Let's begin with South Point against Notre Dame Prep from Scottsdale. Into the first quarter we go. The South Point players would gather around the sideline TV set. Hey guys, let's put the TV on the Friday football fever and news for Tucson. Hey, sorry guys, it's going on right now, not then. At that moment, of course, they were studying film and they didn't see this coming. Fourth down for Notre Dame Prep and it's a fake punt. Gavin Smith will break off multiple yards for the first down. South Point would trail early in the, in the game 7-0, but then Trayson Bourget is about to find Michael Aguirre for a first down. Nice catch. South Point doing it up. A couple plays later, Bourget is booking it to the end zone. 39 yards later, the game is all tied up 7-7. Check him flexing. All right, on to the defensive end. South Point will come through. Antonio Martinez with the big interception. And in the second quarter, we go Owen Lynch for South Point from 41 yards out. Si, senor. Yes, sir. South Point leads 10-7, and that three points ends up being the difference. The Lancers will hold on for the 45-42 victory. And in another matchup, number nine, Sienega will go up against the number one seed, Scottsdale Horizon. The boys from Vail played tough but could not get over the hump against a team that could be headed for state title. Final score, Horizon 45, Sienega 21. Hey, moving on, Coach Robert Bonias and Des Review were gunning for their 11th victory in 12 games, including the postseason. But first, the boys from the Sunnyside Unified School District would have to get past number three seed Goodyear Desert Edge. Fortunately for the Jaguars, Desert Edge would jump out to a 13-0 lead, but back comes DVHS with Serge Bowie. Aye, way, Bowie, that is. The 10-yard TD run from Serge Bowie cuts the lead to 13-7, but that is as good as it would get for Desert View. The Jaguars trailed 19-7 at halftime and would end up falling 31 to 13. The boys from Tucson Southside end the season with 10 wins and just two losses. Hey, Casa Grande would also knock off St. Mary's 31-29. All right, now back to Coach Adia Barnes and the Wildcats against DePaul. It all went down in the Caribbean at the